个把所有东西都把。Just from the work as, that you do as a side note, is police brutality in order to draw a confession from suspects um, a reality? Is it something that is abound in South Africa? I don't know who it is. Okay. Cool. Don't you consult? Um, so uh. good, good afternoon, uh, everybody, and welcome to our Springbok Media Conference. Uh, we've got uh, Assistant Coach Don Newman and uh, John Klein uh, with us today. Um, Fortunately for the South African media, there aren't any media in attendance. So what we are going to do is start off with English questions. Uh, and in the last 10 minutes or so, we will switch over to Afrikaans. Uh, if I can, please ask guys, can you just all switch off your microphones and raise your hands when you have a question? And then um, and, and please ask one question so that we can give as many people as possible the chance to ask questions. And if there's time for a second, uh, we will switch over to, to, to you for that again. So um, yes, uh, we'll send out the recording later. Without further ado, we could take questions. Nathan? Uh, thank you, Zina. Good day, gentlemen. Um, Don, I'll start with you. Um, obviously, I just want to go back to the announcement now. Before the World Cup squad was announced, I asked Dion Fury what role will he be given, but he didn't give way too much detail. Now that the squad is announced, you have two out and out hookers. Will Dion fulfill the role of a third hooker role? And if so, when will he be tested at international test match level? Uh, because at the moment, we've got the trend of players being ruled out of the World Cup. I think it's a good question. I will. Well, I think most probably we look at Dion that can maybe play the same role as a skulk um, in the past in the 2019 World Cup. So, and obviously he had played at a high level, obviously at super rugby level, he played at hooker as well. So he's capable of doing that. But uh, we, are we, still, are still, we still, still have, have the option, option also, also to, to call, call um, 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 a guy like, like Joseph Weber in. Yeah, and um, uh, well, he's definitely still part of the, the group of 38 players that's been announced. So yeah, um, he's only a flight away. So if we need him, we can always push on his button as well. Uh, any other questions? Please raise your hand. Leeton. Thank you, Z. Hello, Don. Hi, John. Don, um, just, just for you, please. 
Um, you guys obviously mixed and matched around the the front row, reasonably sorted and everything. But um, are you looking at the next two games to to get things going in in the scrum department as well with the guys? Um, it's been I, I don't want to say there hasn't been a reward, um, but I look at that Argentina game where 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 the guys scrummed Argentina, but didn't necessarily get what what you wanted. Do you feel this Wales game would would be the perfect opportunity for that? Yeah, I think as um as I said in the past, I think we tried a lot of combinations and like we actually wanted to try to be fair to all the players and giving every every guy a fair chance to make it into the group. And I think we played around a couple of combinations, but maybe going forward we will maybe settle down. And if 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 uh, yes, obviously, I mean, some games we get feeling sometimes very frustrated because there isn't a lot of scrums, so you don't have a, such a big influence as you'd like to have on the in the game. But but um, coming back to your question, I think I think obviously we want to get the reward always. It's not always going our way, but uh, obviously uh, we'll see how it goes. Can you stop? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Zina. I'm um, done, John. Um, guys, uh, good afternoon. I'm um, done. When you look at the spate of injuries um, that took place across the weekend, I know that um, you will know through your career that injuries are pretty much part of the game. But um, does it set some sort of fear factor rolling that mm-hmm. um, in these in these games there are still significant uh, World Cup injuries that are taking place? I think if you look at all the other international franchises at the moment, I think in all the, I mean, all the countries, there's a lot of injuries happening at the moment as well. Like I think the French team just lost uh, in Damak, their flyoffs, who was actually their, the first choice flyoff. So it does happen. And obviously to us as well, we got one or two guys on the fringe coming back from injury, not in the group at the moment. We're still tracking them. So yeah, that will have an influence, but unfortunately, uh, this is games that should be played in preparation for the World Cup. So yeah, I don't think we must fear, uh, have a lot of fear going into the games because we have got a good group. We got a, got a lot of players. We can come still come in. We haven't been in the group so far. So yeah, I mean it's part of the game. Unfortunately, it is part of the game, like you said. Percy. Thank you so much, Zina. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, Zina, before I ask my question, can I just ask John? John, just for later, um, do you speak any Afrikaans for sir? Uh, it's Afrikaans. Well, lekker, lekker. <laughs> so crack, I just uh, speak English as well. We're the WhatsApp group. Uh, later. Dan, can I just ask you a question, though, Dan? Uh, while you're on that note of injury, sir, can I ask you, um, Jacques, I see Jacques Nidam is on this, on, on, on this group as well, and it's not your, 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 probably your choice or your position to, to, to mention the team selection here, yeah. but I need to ask you about players like Sia Khaleesi, Oxen Che, and the likes of uh, Jaden Hendricks. Uh, hasn't played any rugby this past season so far. Is there any pressure on you guys' leadership to give them game time in this well stage and possibly that all like this going into the World Cup? I don't think I don't think there's pressure on us to to do that. I think maybe that's a question that you should keep for later in the week for Jacques or Rassi to answer. But how can I say, we actually try to be fair to them as well and having them as well, getting them into a position to get in a better, how can I say, a stronger position to be, obviously, to be uh, considered for the first test in the, in the which is going to be Scotland. But yeah, um, as I said, let's uh, let Jock answer that one later this week. Okay. Thanks, Zina. How's the gentleman? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Jean, I mean, when we, yes. in one of the press conferences leading up to the rugby championship, you spoke about how uh, growing up you looked at people like Bucky's, and that's who he, you know, those are the guys that uh, influence your rugby and also where you want to go. But how has the last few months been for you? I mean, you're somebody who played for a different nation uh, four years ago, and now you're back in the Springboks, realizing your dream of playing in the World Cup. But is this something that you even imagine possible in the last few months and leading up to this? Oh, absolutely not. Um, to be honest with you, I like 
it's actually quite coincidental. I was having a conversation with a mate of mine about four months ago saying that, you know, I, I've, I've sort of, I've had my chance at international rugby and that's probably the end of it now. Um, and that was my very realistic expectation of, um, you know, my, my path forward. And I was quite happy with it. Um, but, you know, obviously the, the call from Rassi was completely out of the blue. <laughs> I had no, um, no prospects in my mind anyway of, of ever playing for the Springboks again. Um, but yeah, look, an opportunity like this comes by, you can't really, you can't really pass it off. And um, I think, to be fair, um, I think it's paid off so far. I've been very privileged to be part of, you know, South African national team representing my country. And I mean, I, I said it before, I think when you play for the Springboks, you represent hope to a lot of people. And to be part of something so special and so significant is, um, it's really been an honor. And in uh, enjoying the uh, lovely Welsh summer weather down in Cardiff. But uh, now, Dylan James here from Wales Online. Uh, nice to chat to you. So, two two quick questions. So, Jean, uh, so I can kick off with you. Um, uh, what have you made of Wales so far? You see two tests against England. Um, look, I, I think they're a, they're a different team than what anyone was going to expect from them. Um, but at the same time, you look at, you know, if you look at how they performed in the URC, I don't think anyone was sort of rating them. But the the big thing about Wales is they they have all these individual players at their individual clubs, and when you bring them together under a guy, um, now, you know. Story for automatically create bearer tokens that is now just automatically created. So when you log. I think it's still on mute. Zina, he's muted. He's on mute. The, uh, I think you're still on mute. Zina, you're muted. Okay, there we go. Guys, please could you switch off your microphones? Um, Kate, are you done with your question? No, I'm good. Thank you. I was just, we couldn't hear Jean when he was answering Dylan's last part of the question because he was muted. Oh, uh, apologies. Um, I don't know where I where I <laughs> where I was left, but um, you were saying basically about the just URC, sorry, it's about the URC and then oh, yeah. they can't talk about that. So if you want to go from there, thank you. I think um, if you bring all these individual players together under a guy like Warren Gatland, um, you know that's you know that's a recipe for a for for a really good um, national side. So you know Wales have always been good and competitive um, on the international level, um, and you know just from the two, two last games, um, I'd say arguably you have two very good results. You know you've got a good win at home and then a very narrow loss away from home. So. Um, you know, obviously, it's a very threatening side, and we'll be looking to put in our best performance this weekend. Thank you very much for answering twice as well. But, uh, Dan, um, a second question to you. Um, so, uh, which Wales players have impressed you um, in the opening two test matches? Um, yeah, how can I say? Basically, the, the whole team's performance we were impressed by the whole team's performance because you think, if you think now, they had a good result last week and maybe this week as well. They got very close to have a good result as well. 
So I think actually the way they play, and we know also that, I mean, uh, uh, like John said, the team's been coached by Warren Gatlin. They're always, always very tough to play, and they're always well, well prepared. So, yeah, there's not really specific ones. We look at them as a team, and they had a really good performance the last two weeks. Thank you very much. There's everything from me. Go well. Thanks. How's it, guys? Thanks, Zina. Um, Don, maybe uh, just for you, um, Wales has been the type of team that in the past, especially under Warren Gatland, has, has almost sort of taken you guys to the gutters. It's been very much an arm wrestle every single time against them. Um, do you expect that to be the same thing this coming weekend? Do you expect them to go back to almost to the what the Warren Ball type of play that they always try and play against you guys? Yeah, I think so, 100%. I think the way that they play, if you look back now, the last four or five times that we played against them in Wales, I think they beat us four times out of five, which I think, I suppose, they will definitely use that as a motivation. And then and then I think, you know what, it was always, like you said, it's a really an arm wrestle against them. The way they play, uh, World Cup semi-final, we only, got, we only got it right in the very last four minutes when you got a penalty and beat them 1916, if you're referring back to them. So, you know, it's going to be definitely uh, a well-coached team. They're well-prepared, it's obviously. And they've been in a very, very tough camp, apparently. So, yeah, I think they, they're in fine form. And we definitely need to pitch up if we, if we want to have some good results here. Ati? Uh, um, thanks, Zina. Um, my question is uh, for John. Um, John, just how have you settled within the box um, set up? And just uh, also again, how is the synergy between the back row guys and also what are some of the targets that you want to hit um, this weekend against Wales? <clears throat> um, well, I'd, I'd like to think I've I've settled in quite well. Um, I think, you know, other players and the coaches will probably be a better judge of that. But I, I feel like I've integrated quite well into the squad. Um, I obviously, I know a lot of the guys from back when I still played in South Africa, you know, Guys like Dwayne, Kutsi, Franz, you know, I played with all of them, Dion. Um, I've played with Damon. Obviously, I've got a really good relationship with RG, um, play with him at Munster. Um, so, you know, I've I've been able to, to settle in quite well. Um and you know, to the second part of your question, I I we don't really set it, so set ourselves targets in terms of um metrics per weekend. Um I think for us, it's more just we want to impose ourselves as a as a pack, um, and uh, I mean that's our that's our tactic all the time. So there's there's nothing really specific that's changing for this weekend. We're gonna we're gonna play our game plan and we're gonna try and impose ourselves, and um, yeah, we'll see how they deal with that. Percy, you know, are you are we allowed to ask off cons now? Percy, you can fire. It's fine. Thank you so much. Um, um, Dan, can you can you ask Dan? Is it in Afrikaans to write the opsomming? Um, what would be long ways to vote in your wedstrijd in Wales? We will only see it as a op by van mens, see it as a opwarming wedstrijd. But what will you as as a wereldwijd group ways to vote in your wedstrijd? For all in Afrikaans, as in Engels, genoemd, you have a few players that no wedstrijd fucks with word. And and John, John, can you for you? For as in Engels, genoemd. Um. Het, jy, jy verduidelik, is een besondige voorig vir jou om weer vir, vir jou land uit te draf, vir alle beerie vlak by wereldbeker. Beskuif gewoon die gevoel vir jou nou, dat jy uiteindelik die kool kry en nou om deel van hierdie wereldbeker groep vir Zuid-Afrika te wees. Baie dankie, Zina. Ja, ek denk, wat ons wees voor, natuurlijk wil ons in ons systeme, wat ons het in plek en waarmee ons op hierdie stadium werk en wat ons doen, ou wil natuurlijk beter word en alles wat jy doen, huidiglik, sonder om nou enig tak, taktiek te verwijs. Ek dink ons probeer rechtig waar hard na onszelf. Kijk, op hierdie stadium natuurlijk het ons hulle in acht genome. Um, maar ek dink op hierdie stadium ons, ons focus op wat ons kan doen. Ons focus letterlijk op die volgende oefening. En ons kijk nie heel te mal te ver in die wereldbeker al in nie. Ons focus letterlijk op Wallis. Ek dink Wallis is een topspan. Ek dink as jy visies jy wil meet in een span in die wereld, dan moet jy dit in hulle kan, kan meet, want hulle... Hulle is een span, so jy sê, iemand het net nou verwijs na iemand, hy vat jou rechtig na die gatters toe, en hulle is een, def, hulle is een topspan, jy sal moet bereid wees om op te dag, die dag is die enige resultaat die hulle wil hee. Um, van, my, uh, van my kant af net om, jy weet net, daar al wat ek vroeger gesê het, 
Um, ek denk, vir my is het ongelooflik eer om deel te wees van die Springboksplan. Het is nie erg iets wat op die kaart was vir my paar maande terug nie, en ek denk, sy my gevraai het toe, so ek vir jou gesê het, jy is laf. Um, maar, jy weet, hier is ek nou, um, jy weet, na al die oproep van Rasi af, ek denk, is al 2,5, amper 3 maande terug, en, jy weet, hier is ek nou, jy weet, ingeneem in die Springboekgroep vir die wereldbeker, en, ek denk, in daai opzig, is het, is ongelofelike voorrecht om my land te verteenwoordig op die vlak, en, op daai punt, Ek denk, die springboek is een span wat hoop aan baie miljoene mens in Zuid-Afrika um, verteenwoordig en vir baie mense hoop gee, um, waar is het goed gaan natuurlijk, maar ek denk vir die algemeen is het net, dit is een punt op samenkomst, jy weet, de, de, de flippen, jy, jy weet ek bedoel, um, maar ja, dit is net, ek denk is een raar groot voorrecht om die altijd weer van zoiets wat zo so groot is voor zoveel so, so mensen. Kan je zo? Thank you, Zina. Um, John, now that there's there's still a fair another a bit of time to go for the until to the World Cup, but as a player, how do you focus on a warm up game as compared to a test match that that will generally have a lot at stake? I. <laughs> I think it's very simple. Um, everything's at stake every weekend. Um, I don't think we can look at any game over the next, what's it, I think 10 or 11 weeks as just another game. Um, I think we, when you're playing for the Springboks at international test level, like there's there's no, oh, this is just another warm-up game. Um, every weekend is, you know, the next biggest match of your life. Um, and I think that's the way it should be regarded, and I think that's the way it is regarded by most, by all the players. Um, you know, we don't have a lackadaisical um, kind of outlook on, oh yeah, this is just another warm-up game before the real competition starts. You know, this is almost this is this is the start of our World Cup, basically. You know, any any game from now onwards is, you know, it's 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 the biggest game. Dylan, is that a free shot? No, sorry, I just haven't put it down from before. <laughs> Thank, thanks, guys. Let's switch over to Afrikaans. We've got about nine minutes left. Lieten? John, um, daar net vroeger daarvan gepraat oor, oor die beserings, maar, maar net in die, in die spelerskamp self. Um, is daar enige gesprekke tussen julle om net vir mekaar te sê, um, yes, Wees rustig daar oor, um, ons gaan uit om te speel, um, moet nie oor die beserings dink nie, ons weet is voor, voor, kort voor een wereldbeker en jy het nog twee opwarmwedstrijde, maar is, is dat soort van die gesprekke tussen jy om net, net uit te gaan en te doen wat jy moet doen en, en kalm te bly met die laatste twee wedstrijde? Wel, um, ek dink, om eerlijk te wees, dit is maar het beseringsmodel van rugby, dit is nie ongelukkig, dit is nou nie iets wat enige van ons kan voorspel, of um, jy weet eerst verbied nie, dit is maar net, dit is deel van die, dit is deel van die game, um, en dit is maar realiteit, in raak die mense gaan beserings opdoen, en jy weet, obviously, na, natuurlijk is al gesprek het, tussen ons en die, en die africhters, net in die groter span, om net te sê, hoe die, die, die realiteit is van ons gaan beserings opdoen, en dit is maar, dit is maar ongelukkig hoe raak die werk, en een of twee van ons gaan uitval, en dan is daar een groep van, jy weet, nege ouwens wat, ook saam met ons paard gewerk het, en ook deel geword van die groep, en ook deel was van al die voorbereiding, um, tot en met laas week, en van hulle in hierdie week ook in, so die volgende ouwe is dan daar, om, jy weet, om die fakkel te vat, en aan te beweeg, um, ek denk, elke ouwe moet net sy best doen, om die land te verteenwoordig, en dan, daarna gaan het maar kwestie wees, van as jy besering opdoen, dan is het maar ongelukkig, volgende ouwe in die lijn, um, en dit is maar hoe dit werk, by die vorige wereldbeker het ons hier nog twee ouwens verloor en so het die volgende ouwe ook ingetree en sy werk vir die beste van sy vermoog gedoen en ons het, ons het met sukses uitgeloop so, jy weet een besering of twee besering is dalk nie die einde van die wereld nie, um, ek denk is dit belangrijk dat allemaal weet jy weet hulle gaan elke naal wat hulle beste gee, gee nie om wat nie Ja, vir sê, jy kent 
Want ek kan denk, sommer sien, dan, um, weer eens, ek verwacht nie, jy moet praat oor spankees as my nie, dit is natuurlijk zaak soos so verplichting dit, maar kan ek jou toch vraag, um, uit jou, in jou opinie, hoe lyk jylle kaptein op die oefenveld, is hy gereed, gereed om op toetsvlak rugbyal te speel, is hy gereed contact te maak? Ja, persie, weet jy wat, ons uiteindelik, ons het een spankaptein in basis, het ons nog, nog, nog ander kapteins ook in die span, so om na, uh, om vir jou, ek sê nie, noodseker met wie verwijs jy, wat er een van die kapteins verwijs jy nie? Specifiek sê ek al die sê om dan. Ok, um, um, ja nee, uit laatste week het hy voluit saam met ons geoefen, en natuurlijk, kom my ook nie terug en speel 80 minuut, is sommer van die start af nie, maar, um, Ek dink, ek dink, sê, as in een baie goeie plek, hy het al die contacts gevat, en natuurlijk, wat vir my baie belangrijk is, hy het saam geskram, en sê alles daar gegeen, soos wat, uh, soos wat ons daar verwacht, so in my departement, sê ek baie gelukkig met wat ek gesien het so ver, en hoopelik kan hy vir ons een groot bijdra uh, lever, en die nalk nie hierdie week, en dalk volgende week, mens weet nie wanneer gaan hy losgelaat word nie. Ek dink net, uh, dis een van die type honde wat hy ou wil hee, uh, as hy dier losgelaat word. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thanks, Don and, and John. We'll be sending out the recording shortly. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sterta. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>